Hi friends, welcome to Knowledge Share. Today we are going to see how we can use PNP Folder Picker Control. I hope many of you have heard about this control. Today I am going to show you a short demo on how you can use the Folder Picker Control and how you can uh, configure it in your uh, SPFX web part project. And also we can see some uh, properties associated with this control. Shall we? As always, so we can uh, start with uh, where you can find exactly the control documentation. This is the PNP GitHub site where you can uh, find all the documentation related to the SPFX control. So here if you see this is related to folder picker control. What this control mainly does is based on your configuration it will help you to iterate through the folders and then pick a folder from your configuration. So for example, if you see here, so some folders are configured inside the document library and it will display all the folders. Keep in mind, this will display only the folders, not the content inside the folder. It will allow you to choose the folder. So it will traverse inside the subfolders irrespective of whatever the level it is or how many levels you have it inside your SharePoint document library. So it will allow you to traverse inside the sub level and it will allow you to choose the folder. So the main objective of this control is to choose the folder. So it can be used in many use cases like uh, when you want to display files to your users, but there are a lot of files and there are a lot of folders and subfolders so you can use this control and then uh, you can ask the user to choose the folders based on the folders they have chosen you can display the files from the folders so this control is very useful in many scenarios one of the scenarios is this so let us see what are all the properties it is associated with so these are all the properties which are associated with this control first is the context which is very much uh, mandatory because uh, using this context only they will iterate our document library whatever it is configured and then they will display the folders and subfolders Label is something which needs to be displayed in the screen and root folder is the starting point of the folder structure what you want to explore or what you want to pick and site absolute URL is non mandatory. So this is required whenever you are willing to show the folders where your web part is in different site collection and the folder which you are trying to show is in different sites or different site collection. So at that time the site absolute URL is required. So if you see the example here, so the web part may be loaded in different site, but they are giving the site absolute URL to a, another site and they are loading a folders from the document library from a different site. So in case if you are using different site collection folders to load it to a different site collection web part, then, you, then the site absolute URL is very much required. Without the site absolute URL, having the server relative URL is difficult to iterate to the folders and subfolders. And there are other properties where you can make the control as required, disabled, whether you want the users to create the folders or not. So if enabled, you will be able to see an option to create the folders, but it doesn't mean the users can create the folders unless you have the users configured with proper permissions inside the document library. This is very much important because enabling this here doesn't mean that the user can create the folders. The permissions are very much mandatory. You have to configure. These are all the things which you have to manually take care. The control doesn't do it automatically. It will use the permission for the logged in users and try to create the folders. If the folders are not created successfully, then there is something wrong with your permission settings for the current logged in users and on select is a callback event so this event you can use this event to populate the files or whatever the business logic you can implement based on the selected folders so once the folders are selected then this event will trigger so these are all the properties i have written a blog post on the same topic so i will include this blog post url as well as the github url on my video description you can always have a look at it before moving into the code let us see a short demo on how this control works shall we this is my uh, demo site collection as well as a demo page where i have added 
this folder picker control. So if you see here, uh, this is the shared documents library where I have folders, files, and there are uh, subfolders as well. If you see folder one, it has folder one, one, folder triple one, and then. So there are four levels and five levels of subfolders already exist in the folder one. So I have configured this library with that control. So the look and feel of the control is something like this. So when you add this control, it will display a label and then it will display a placeholder and an icon to choose the folder picker. So when you click on this icon, so the configured document libraries, folders and subfolders will be displayed like this. So it, you will have a title of the document library where this is the breadcrumb. This is not a title, this is a breadcrumb. So when I click on this folder, you can see it will automatically show you the breadcrumb. So once you have traversed through multiple levels, so it will automatically uh, collapse it. And when you click on it, at any point of time, you can traverse back to the folders. and. Uh, the main feature of this uh, control is it is displaying in a nice panel and you can have a clear view of the folder structure and you can also even search the folders using the search bar in case if you have uh, lots and lots of folders and subfolders and I don't think so it will search the subfolders so if you are in the root so it will search only for the root folders and when you are inside uh, the subfolders you can choose or you can search for the subfolders and uh, here i have enabled the folder creation so you will be able to create a new folder folder created so when you click on this so the folder is created and maybe we can go here and then check whether the folder is created or not see a new folder is created as long as the user whoever performing this operation has correct permissions mapped to the config, configured document library okay once you click on the save without create without selecting any folders the root document library will be selected so when i click on this folder and then if i click save so automatically the whichever the folder whichever is selected it will be displayed with the link so when you click on the link it will automatically navigate to that particular folder and as i said one of the scenario is based on the folder selected you can always display the files inside the folders or any other business scenarios so this is very short demo now let us see how we can uh, how we configure this control or how we use this control inside the spfx project shall we so this is a very simple uh, SPFX web part. So I have created a web part named uh, folder picker demo. So I haven't made any changes in this web part.ts file except one. Since the control required the context, the current context, I have just updated the default props file with just the context, web part context. So this is only the extra property which I am passing apart from the out of the box generated code. So I'm just passing this context. Apart from this, I haven't made any other changes to the functions or not even the property plan. Nothing because we are not uh, uh, using this control dynamically, but it can be. So for example, if you want to use this control to fetch the folders based on the document library configured in the property plan, it can be done. So you have to use a particular property plan control where you can display the libraries alone and based on the chosen library you can pass the arguments properties to the control and based on that when they when the user click on the control only the folders within that selected library will be displayed so it can be made dynamic as well so moving on to the actual component it's very simple so this is the default design and this is a div i have modified i have just given the name as folder picker demo and this is the actual control so if you see here, I am just importing the folder picker and I folder object from the folder picker module, which is from the SPFX controls react. And I have given the label required, which is true. So whenever you perform some operations or when you include this control in a form, so this might be comes in handy. And here I have configured the root folder as 
name as documents and the server relative url which is very very important because when you are loading the documents or folders inside the subsites or from the site collection then you have to give the server relative url of the exact document library so if you notice here i haven't given the site absolute url because the web part and the folders i am loading are in the same site collection so i am just i have just given the server relative url of the document library alone in case if i want to use this web part in a different site collection but the folders are coming from a different site collection then the site absolute url is very much required and i have configured the on select callback event where on the folder select i'll be getting the folder object selected folder i am just using the browser console to display the selected folder and i have just given the property can create folders which is true so that you your users will be able to create the folders sorry i haven't shown this uh, console.log so maybe uh, we will navigate back to the browser and see what exactly are we displaying so selected folder so you can see the name of the folder server relative url of the folder so based on this uh, you can iterate through the folders and get the files or any other business information you require so these are all the information that will be available based on the selected folders guys this is a very uh, simple demo i am just uh, explaining how you can use this folder picker i hope you had learned something uh, from this demo thank you for your support if you really like this video please like and subscribe to my channel thank you thank you for your time cheers